One of these connectors could cause you big problems if you're using AES50 connections. Let's talk about it. If you run AES50 connections on a Behringer X32, a Behringer Wing, or a Midas M32, then this black Ethercon connector can not only cause dropouts, but even risk frying an AES50 port. Until recently, Neutrik used a conductive black coating for their black Ethercon shells. But that has now changed. Now it's non-conductive. The X32 ecosystem requires the shells to connect with the shielded Ethernet cable, with continuity between the shells. Tests have shown that the surround of the R45 is not enough by itself. Protection from ESD is the reason. Electrostatic discharge. There cannot be continuity with the new black shells. Unfortunately, the cables with the black connectors seem to be popular for vendors to stock and consumers to buy. I spoke to Neutrik about this change and this is what I was told. The discontinuation of the black chrome was mandated by global ROHS restrictions. They also tell me that they've sent a number of engineering change notices to their direct customers and encouraged them to flow this information down to their own customers. I suspect this is where some of the disconnect has occurred in getting this info out to consumers, with a lot of music store sales staff simply not getting or understanding this information, nor realizing the importance of this in the X32, M32 wing ecosystem. But another salient point from what Neutrik told me. A related point is that it has always been the case that nickel-coated housings exhibit superior conductivity to black ones, including the older black chrome. So, for users seeking the utmost in conductivity, we have always encouraged them to choose the non-black coatings. That is a really good point to consider because there is probably no overwhelming reason to choose the black connectors instead of the silver ones, except for looks. And definitely not risking ESD issues is more important than sleek black connectors. To help recognize these connectors, the newer black connectors are coated inside and out, more or less double insulating them from contact. The older ones were only coated on the outside in the first place. The older ones will have shell-to-shell -shell continuity when used on shielded Ethernet cable. The newer ones simply will not have continuity. If you haven't already purchased your cable, just make sure and get a shielded cable with the silver-colored Ethercon connectors. If you already have a cable with the new black Ethercon connectors, even if you scratch the coating off the inside and the outside of the newer ones, the RJ45 still has trouble making contact, so that is not an answer. Fortunately, it's not too expensive to buy a couple of the Neutrik NE8MX Ethercon cable connector carriers. All we need from the package is the silver shell. So it's just a matter of swapping the black shell for the silver shell from this package on each end. I'll leave an Amazon link below if you don't have a local supplier. Neutrik encouraged me to help spread the information about this connector coding change. In some cases, it might be up to us to educate a music source salesman about this when buying Ethercon cables to help the next person they encounter. Also, considering the reason for this change, this is likely not just a Neutrik Ethercon issue. The off-brand Ethercon type connectors likely meet the same global standards now. Let me know in the comments if you were unknowingly already using one of these newer version cables. If you're running AES50, skip the black Ethercons and go silver. Your show just might depend on it. Here's another video you might find interesting. Thanks for watching. Likes and subscribes, always appreciate it. And I will see you next time.